Shalom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm Dr. Israel Christile, Shepherd Baptist Church. Welcome to Green Pastures, especially this segment called Elevation Capsule. Today, may you get a capsule, may you have a capsule that will elevate you spiritually, morally, financially, in the name of Jesus. Now, we've been looking at the book, This Valley Shall Be Filled. And the first value of our consideration is the valley of Jerah, which is found in Genesis chapter 26. Last week we looked at the events surrounding that. And we concluded with what the man Isaac said in that valley. Genesis 26 verse 22, he said, Now the Lord has given us room, and we will flourish in the land. Now God has given you room. I prophesy, declare, you will flourish in the land in the name of Jesus. Now, what are the characteristics and the significance of the valley of Jerah? The first thing I observe is the place of temporary sentiment. The valley of Jerah was not the original place Isaac had planned to settle. But envy, persecution sent him there and he settled there. But the settlement was not permanent, for in verse 23, he left the valley of Jerah for Beersheba. The Christian life is not supposed to be a permanent life of valleys. Our valley experiences are meant to be temporary. A Christian is not to be a village in the valley, but it must be a city set on a hill. When life problems and frustrations send you to the valley, remember it will not be forever. But for a period of time, Every problem they see has its expiry date. And so, your valley experiences. The second significance, it is also a land of opportunity to recover your lost heritage. The Bible says that Isaac dug the wells that his father Abraham had dug in his days. He did not remember to dig the wells until he was sent into the valley of Jerah, according to verse 18. Many Christians will not discover their spiritual power until they find themselves in the valley of life. Many will not have their Bible study life or their prayer life restored until they find themselves in the valley of life. A dedicated young man who was jobless for years. During his period of joblessness, he had time for almost all the activities of the church. He was a member of the job maintenance committee. Later, Providence smiled on him. And this young man got employment in an oil company. After a year, he was no longer available for church activities. Actually, he wrote the church to tell them he was no longer interested in being a member of maintenance committee. That if they wanted him to serve, they should look for a better office or better committee, a more decent committee, possibly make him the chairman. The church simply refused him and refused to concede to his demand. This young man also stood his ground. He refused to serve and he felt the church has failed to recognize his new status. This went on for two solid years. Afterwards, this young man lost his job. With the little money he had saved while he was working, he bought a motorcycle and he began to use it for commercial purposes. After three months, he had a ghastly motor accident and he lost the motorcycle. It was then that he remembered God. He became serious with his prayer life and Bible study. He began, he began to attend weekly programs of the church, which he refused to attend before. He began to plead with the church to serve in the maintenance committee again. He sought God for forgiveness and God forgave him. After six months, God provided him another job in a merchant bank. But he had learned his lessons. Even though his banking job tries to hinder him from coming to church, this young man had decided to be faithful. He resolved to make himself available for God, himself available for God and to serve the Lord wholeheartedly. 
You see, when we sit on the mountain of our delicacies and comforts, we tend to forget God and we become complacent. But when we are saying to the valley of affliction, we remember Him. I pray for you. May you not be in the valley before you remember God. Till I come, you win next week. You are lifted in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.